Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Terrence Shaheed. Uh, this video, I will be talking about what it means to denounce from an MPHC organization. Uh, first off, uh, if you are a new subscriber, uh, welcome. If you are a current subscriber, thank you for subscribing. If you like this video, feel free to give a thumbs up and hit subscribe and the notification bell if you wish to see more videos. Also, um, real quick before I get into it, uh, I just want to touch on, uh, I know, well, you know we're still in the pandemic uh, due to COVID-19, aka coronavirus, and I know a lot of people have been affected in some way, shape, or form, whether it is ba like based on you know losing uh, employment or having your employment altered, maybe from uh, full-time to part-time, or your income was somehow affected, if your health was somehow affected, if you had tested positive, or contracted coronavirus and um, it may have been took a toll on your health um, I do hope for a speedy recovery if um, unfortunately you may have lost someone dear to you due to COVID-19 like I have I recently lost um, an uncle of mine due to complications from COVID so if that's happened to you uh, first off I want to express my deepest condolences to you and um, I do hope that you know we pull we can pull together as you know a people and kind of find a way to uh curtail this pandemic so um just know that you are not alone and you know i know everybody is struggling and i do hope that you know we can heal from this you know um so with that being said i want to kind of touch on the topic for today uh denouncing an mphc organization so denouncing refers to when a person of one of the MPHC organizations uh, decides they no longer wish to be a part of said organization or that respective organization. Uh, they are making a declaration that they no longer wish to be a member of the organization. And it's pretty much almost like, you know, resigning from a job. So it's pretty much saying, hey, uh, I do not want to be a member of XYZ Fraternity or Sorority Incorporated. Um, there's several reasons, several common reasons why people denounce from the organization. Um, one reason is they may feel that they've gotten all there is to get out of being a member in that organization, or they may feel like they may not have the time or the resources to commit to continuing to be a member of so organization. Um, a common reason I notice also is that um, I know some a lot of people join who may uh, be who may be devout in their religious faith and they feel that being a member conflicts with their walk of faith and um, I'm not here to speculate on you know their reasoning behind it. Um, this is just something that I've seen you know, since being a part of one of the MPAC organizations. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that when a person denounces, it is a permanent decision, meaning uh, once you decide to denounce from that organization, you are saying that you no longer wish to be a part of that organization for good. It is not something that you can change your mind on or a decision you can rescind later on down the road. So for example, uh, five, 10 years from now, you're sitting you're sitting around and reminiscing about the time you were a part of XYZ fraternity or sorority and you kind of miss like the bonds you had with certain people, people in the org and you know, you'd say, hey, maybe I should, you know, reconnect. It, do it doesn't work like that. Uh, denouncing is almost similar to, you know, blackballing yourself from a job. And, you know, those who aren't familiar, blackballing means you're kind of, you know, on, a, you know, no go list as far as, you know, uh, certain companies and whatnot. So this this and this is also why it's important to if you are someone who's considering joining one of the organizations of MPHC, uh, because um, it is a lifelong commitment. It is very time consuming and it is very expensive. Um, it is expensive to join. It is expensive to remain an active and financial member. Uh, for example, um, like I said, joining is expensive enough. 
but there are also expenses that come with being a member. For example, um, there's conventions you may have to register for, especially if you are a neophyte. There is also chapter dues. There is also national dues and any other expense that comes along with it, depending on the organization that you are in. Also, uh, on a time consuming front, uh, as a neophyte, especially, or if you're active or trying to maintain uh, active status, you are, you know, there is events that you'll be expected to, you know, assist with or um, spearhead, uh, such as community service, advocacy events, um, scholarship fundraising, uh, mentoring, uh, the list goes on, especially depending on the organization and chapter of organization you are a part of or are considering being a part of. You know, so um, and one of the one of the also one last thing I wanted to touch on is, um, you know, when it comes to denouncing, uh, it's a, it's a very simple process. But I've noticed um, over time, not, you know, some recent uh, how people choose to denounce. One of the ways I've noticed is um, some people uh, prefer to go to social media. And before I touch on it, uh, let me say I'm not here to tell anybody what to do on how to denounce. Uh, this is just something, this is just my two cents on the matter, that's all. Um, from what I know is people go to social media and, you know, you know, make a declaration um, about, you know, they're no longer wanting to be a part of said organization. Some people have uh, gone to the extremes as far as um, throwing out their paraphernalia or their apparel that uh, is fashionized with their um, organization. I've even seen... Um, videos of people setting their parry on fire. And um, as far as that goes, uh, it, it, it seems kind of uh, unnecessary to do such, mainly because, you know, like I said, it's a simple process. All you really have to do is to uh, make a communication to the national headquarters of the organization and, you know, say, hey, I no longer wish to be a part of this organization uh, for such and such reason, or even you don't even have to give a reason, say you can just say you don't want to be a member anymore and just mail back the parry that you've accumulated over time. Uh, or you can give some of the parry to people who are still in the organization. Uh, if it's custom, that's a different story. That might be something that you can just mail back. But I just feel like, you know, when people do that, it's kind of unnecessary. And, you know, when you can take half the energy and just kind of just, you know, make a communication and just send the Perry back to national headquarters and they can take care of it and just kind of up, update the database and let them know, hey, this person doesn't want to be a part of this organization anymore. Uh, unsubscribe from any mailing lists, any communications. That way, you know, they can go their way and we can go ours. But, but that's all I had to say. So um, if you like this video, feel free to like and subscribe, please. Also, if you wish to see more, feel free to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified, be pinged anytime I drop a new video. And also, um, like I said earlier, please, everybody be careful. Um, practice social distancing. Uh, practice good hygiene. Wash your hands. Um, carry a hand sanitizer if um, possible. Also, wear a mask out in public to, you know, I'd rather be safe than sorry. So just, you know, be careful because, you know, even though I, like I said, I hope that this dies down, but, you know, there's pretty much no telling at this point. So, um, like I said, everybody be careful. I'll see you later. Peace.